Welcome back to the Ocean Stage at North Shipping 2023. The next interview in our Ocean Impact series is with Nick Pinkney, Global Sales Director of SoFar Ocean. Nick, thanks for joining us. Thank you, delighted to be here. So Nick, uh, many weather providers claim to offer comprehensive weather intelligence. What makes your offering unique? Great question. Yeah, that goes straight to the heart of, of what we at SoFar Ocean do. Um, to answer your question, it's related to the actual uh, weather itself. So what we've done over the last two years was we've rolled out the largest network of weather sensors across the surface of the ocean. And what that brings to the table is a dramatic increase in terms of accuracy of forecasts to the tune of 40, in some cases 45%, uh, in comparison to traditional models. So that is a significant uh, increase in terms of accuracy and, and obviously quite a game changer if you're using that information to make smarter operational decisions in relation to your voyage planning, your voyage optimization, and equally reviewing uh, your voyage after the event and in terms of claims, et cetera. So your list of clients includes a lot of major shipping companies. Uh, I know Berg Bulk stands out uh, from many of the others, right, uh, uh, is one of your clients. What was the catalyst for that deal and other deals like it? I think really, um, once again, it goes to our weather data. So the fact is, if you have good inputs coming into the, any kind of model, you have better outputs. And James Marshall, CEO at uh, Burger Bulk, was uh, very sharp to pick up on that, that side of things very quickly. And certainly, yeah, they, they've seen some very solid results. He himself uh, has commented on the 4.5% uh, seen in terms of efficiency gains on individual voyages, which is pretty exciting. And that translates to anywhere between, well, it, Based upon those numbers, that would be an increase of 14 uh, days that can be additionally used for the vessel to operate it. So that's, that's a pretty big deal based upon today's uh, rates. On the topic of uh, quantifying emissions reductions, how do you quantify emissions reductions? And also, what type of ROI are you offering owners and operators? OK, well, in terms of how we're quantifying the emissions, there is obviously the uh, factors in terms of uh, the ratio between tons of fuel burnt and the CO2 emissions. So we're using those factors, like everyone else in the industry. And uh, based upon that, we're then able to generate the CO2 emissions reports. And that obviously links in with all the CII. As we're uh, heading into the future, all the EU uh, trading scheme that's going to be coming right. through shortly. And uh, yeah, that, that's how we're working on that basis to provide the uh, insight into CO2 emissions. And in terms of your question on ROI right. and how we're actually uh, measuring that, just to be clear, you're referring to how we're doing that or the ROI that our clients are actually seeing today. How are you calculating ROI and what actual ROI are owners seeing when they invest in your platform? OK, well, in terms of the ROI, uh, how we're calculating it, Obviously, based upon the consumption of the vessels, you have the baseline based upon the voyage that they were planning to uh, enter into. And then we have the uh, revised guidance and route that they're following. So a simple comparison between those two. And where does that information come from? So obviously, initially from the master, making that initial route planning. And then we're making recommendations. But the key thing with our solution, and this is another differentiator, is that ours is dynamic. So as those new weather patterns are coming through, the fact we've actually got these real sensors in place that are picking sure. that up, and that comes through, and that's super powerful when it comes to optimizing things. And in terms of the yeah, uh, return on investment, what we've seen is yeah, uh, James Marshall, again, referring there, but 4.5%, it very much varies. It depends on the seasonality and therefore the impact of the weather, the whole operational profile of the vessel as well, trading patterns and so on. But uh, the IMO themselves, I, I think they uh, quote anywhere between 1% to 10% sure. as a return that you can get via optimizing both your speed and your route. So yeah, any, anywhere in that kind of window, I think, is, is a fair representation of the returns that our clients are seeing. Well, Nick, thanks so much for the insight. We appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Enjoy the rest of the show.